hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video so this is part two of our php rest api tutorial by using php and before we continue with our uh, tutorial let's go ahead and try to see a real world example of rest api so as you can see we are in the github developer page and we can see here different um, options and different information on how to implement a certain api so basically we can see here the different methods also that we have talked uh, from the previous video and we can see here the endpoint so this is basically the root endpoint of the api of github.com so we can issue get request to the uh, root endpoint to get the all endpoint categories that the REST API version 3 supports. So we can use curl https slash slash api dot uh, github dot com. And here we can also see the HTTP redir redirects. Okay. So we have uh status code 301 302 so basically we can uh, implement this type of redirects into our own php rest api and also we talk about http verse before or methods right so we have head the get and then post we have patch we have also put and delete okay and then we also have different options here like the pagination okay so if you have like thousands of records or uh, yeah thousands of records and then we don't want our user to be overwhelmed with information or, or overwhelmed with data so we might want to paginate the data in our database by using some sort of like a uh, parameter so page like page 2 and then every page consists of 100 records so we can do that with our own php rest api so i'm just showing you here all the possibilities that we can uh, add into our php rest api okay we also have this like uh, uh link header so if we want that we can also implement that into our php rest api and then we can also have like a uh, limiting to our request every day to our api so here uh, as you can see uh, they have like 5000 requests per hour limit so yeah we can also do that if we want to limit the access to our api so now let's go back to our code editor and try to complete and start the um, project and and actually write some code to implement our own API in PHP. So this is our base project PHP REST and as you can see we have two more directories the core and includes the core has the initialize.php file and also includes has config.php so in config.php we're going to add the settings and we'll try to connect to our database so let's try to do that here so there are a couple of things that we need we're going to have or we're going to define the user this is for our database user and we also have to define the password for that okay and also we need to define first our database name so maybe we'll just try to name it as php rest and we can try to end then this just to make it uh, more readable okay and then here we're just going to define another variable db and then new this will be the actual 
connection for our database and in here we need to add uh, mysql and then the host is you can say 127.0.0.1 and then the d database name will be of course equals to our defined database name so that's db underscore name and of course another one for our character set so char set equals utf8 and we're going to supply also the user or db user and of course our db password okay so that's the connection for our da uh, database and then we're going to set some attributes here db attributes so db set attribute attribute and then let's say pdo colon colon and then at attr emulate repairs we'll just set it to false and we can copy this set attribute and this will be mysql attr use buffered query okay so this will be for setting up our database connection and this will make the database connection later on to be faster than a normal um, database connection so ATTR error mode will be EDO and then error mode is exception. Okay, and then I think that's it for our database connection. So we have set the database um, attributes we have set the connection and we can use this class or I mean this particular config.php file to actually connect to our database and then we're just going to use this in all our files later on when you try to have like get all the data coming from our database and actually in our config that page we can try to uh, define some constant here so so for example define that's def define and then so for example app name we'll just say php rest api tutorial okay and then in our initialize that php we can have to or we can use this config that php file and try to connect to our database so in here in initialize that php we're just going to define some um constant here so we're just going to check first if ds this is for our directory separator so ds so we're just checking if the ds or directory separator is defined so if it is defined so we're just going to do nothing 
or if it is not defined let's going to let's just go ahead and define it by saying ds and directory separator okay and then semicolon and then let's try it, uh, let's try to define also site root for our project so the same thing we're going to check if the site root is um, defined if it is already defined then let's just say null and if it is not then define it by just using site root or site underscore root here and then ds so ds and then the directory of our file or our project so in my case i'm using wam and after that one another directory separator and then the triple w folder that will host our files and then another directory separator and the name of our project which is uh, php rest okay so in the next video we're going to continue working on with our initialize.php and try to include the config.php file here in our initialize.php file so see you in the next video and thanks for watching